welcome back everyone today we are going to be modeling a container a container in archicad we're going to model a 20 foot container in archicad the first thing we are going to want to do is to get the exact dimension of the container down in our layouts in archicad in our workspace now i'm going to be working on a 20 feet container so for a 20 feet container in meters that's going to be a uh, six meters length by 2.4 meters width so we're going to click on the line tool in the document tab just create a reference of six meters and then we just complete the box with an six meters by 2.4 meters that's 2400 i'm going to take it down just tie it up with this reference here yeah now that's the size of the container that we're going to be working on today the second step is for us to get the height of the container, which is 2.6. For this particular video, I'm going to just set the story elevation to 2.6. So to do that, I'm just going to tap Control 7 on my keyboard. That's a shortcut. The height to next here, I'm just going to make it 2,600. That's basically the height of the container. All right. So I'm going to create four cardinal points at the base, uh, like kind of like a small base footing using the slab tool. I'm going to go to design. I'm just going to click on the slab tool. Uh, make it a simple basic. The height of that would be, let's say, four in five inches is just about okay. That's 125 mm. I'm going to go ahead and go to the floor plan section. Let me make this a black outline because I don't particularly like the light green, the default light green. I don't particularly like it. I'm going to click OK come to one edge of our box i'm going to stretch it out to 125 by 125 as a size okay i will click on this and then i'll right click and just drag a copy of this to the other edge i'm going to drag a copy of this all the way to this point hold shift select both of them i'll drag a copy and put at the top edge all right i'm going to duplicate all four and then i'll just take it to the story above so i would need to do that again later so i've selected all four base points and then i'll control c right click on this tab here go to the first floor just control v and paste i'm going to go back to my ground floor next thing i want to do is to just create um profiles kind of like the columns of the container i'm going to go to the column tab click on it the size i'm going to do four inches size that's 100 mm by 100 mm i'm going to go to this particular top offset to the story above and i'm going to make this zero because i don't want it to extrude below or upward i'm going to click let's just go to the floor plan section and just change the floor plan symbol to either a sash or an x any of them is okay i'm just going to place it here click on it and i drag it to the one of the edge of my base all right now i click on this and then i'll just drag a copy of this just have it placed here all right i'll select both of them just drag a copy of it uh, i just place it at this edge here all right that's fine now, uh, next step is for me to create the base slab of the container because it has to sit on something. So I'm just going to click on the slab tool now, same slab tool. All right, I'm going to make this a uh, hundred. Click OK. I'm just going to draw it over over the top. I'm going to draw it over the top. All right click on it i'm just going to cut out the section of the base uh, the plane's base that i had earlier so to do that i click on any edge I'm just going to subtract from polygon do that i'm just going to do it for all of the four corners nice and easy subtract from polygon just subtract this part out i'll do that again on this one subtract this all right do that again subtract from polygon all right now the next thing i want to do is to copy this base slab and then i'll just put it on the top to serve like the top covering of the container 
So I'm going to have the, the slab um, clicked already, Control C. I go to the floor above and then I just do a Control V. Nice and easy. Let's see what we've done in 3D so far. Just like the shell of the container, basically nothing too fancy. So the next thing I want to do is to cover the sides of the container with the sheets, the container sheets basically. Alright, so the thing, the thing that we're going to do here is to just sketch out a zigzag profile. You can look up what a container structure looks like. It was, you would see like the grooves. You can see the uh, the grooves on the sides of the container. That's where we're going to try to model. We're going to do that using... We're going to form like a, a base plan of what that groove looks like. And then we just have... Use the shell tool or the morph tool to just extrude it upward. It's really easy. All right, so we're going to just create like a reference of what, we, what we're trying to do. Go to the line tool. Just click on this point. Just extend it a little bit. I just want to have like the boundary point of where the, the side sheet is going to lay. So from that point to this point. All right, so I'm just going to draw like a reference that I will use to carve out my groove in the sheets of my container. I'm just going to drag a copy of this. Like this, um, I'm just going to assume that each of those grooves are like uh, 3 inches apart, so that's 75. 75, alright, I'm just going to drag multiple copies of this to have like a reference so that I can easily draw the groove without any issues to 75. Drag another one, 150, the next one, 225, these are just iterations, and then 375, alright. So I, I'm going to use this these lines here to serve like a to serve as a reference for what the groove is going to look like. So if you look at what the container looks like, the groove goes in and then comes out, goes in and comes out. So we'll just draw one one particular profile and then we can just extrude it along the line along the entire length of what we need it to look like. So I'm going to click on this, take it up here, 75. Now you can either this is now kind of like a um an iteration not not really an iteration just think of it like if you have the time to go and draw out the tape to measure the exact angle of each of those grooves that would be better but since we don't actually have like a tape at hand i'm going to estimate the angle of each of those grooves to be something like 60 degrees so this is 45 degrees right and this is 90 so i'm going to extrude i'm going to assume it to be something like this that's 60 degrees uh, just an estimation by the way but i figured it's going to be something it, it, it feels like it's accurate enough basically you know just an intuition anyway but it feels accurate enough anyway let's go on what i just did there was to just draw out the reference from the bottom so i wouldn't need to measure at a different angle just for precision all right so this is the profile of the groove of the side of the side of the container I'm going to copy out this, just drag drag it out, and I'll place it at this bottom edge. So I want to now copy this profile and now just spread it across the entire line. Since I'm going to be copying this from point to point, I'm going to delete this so it's not duplicated at any particular point. So I'll select this and I'll right click. I'll come to move and I just click on multiply. What I want to do is to drag and then I want to increment and spread. This is the ge this is the input method that I need because I just want to spread it along the line basically. So I'll click OK, click on this point, place it on the next edge, and I just spread it along this line. No, I think it's a bit excess, so I'll just delete what I don't need. You know, just cut this one to trim. The next thing I want to do is to use my shell tool to just... I'm going to use shell. I'm not going to use morph. I think shell works better. I'm going to go to the design tab. Uh, click on the shell. I click on the shell tool. You can open the dialog tab if you want. Or you can just set it at the top row here. Yeah? I'm going to just choose to set it at the top row. I'm going to click on this one. and make it a simple profile so i can edit the thickness now for the thickness of the shell i'm going to be using just five just five mm the sheets basically i'm going to keep this uh, the detailed method so i'm going to hover my mouse across the line and then just hold the space bar and then you see the 
the, the cursor changes basically so you can just click on it once and then it will ask you the extrusion length of the of the of the side of the sheet basically and we have that as 2600 which is essentially the height of the of the, the height of the container but then remember that we have like a top slab that's 100 mm so you just have to subtract that 2500 all right continue see what that looks like in our 3d we have it on a different floor yeah i think that's an error from when we we're setting the shell so you just have to click on the side of the sheet and then just go to ground come to offset from bottom story and then just make the zero and you go to your ground floor you can just select this and just place it precisely at the edge where you need it to be I'm going to delete this. I think I need it. Now I'm going to click on this and I'll mirror, mirror a copy of it and put it at the other edge. Uh, drag, move, and then mirror a copy. Just mirror a copy of it and then right click and just drag it to the other edge. Alright, so we have two sides of the sheet already. There are two sides of the sheet now if you think about what the shorter face looks like if you preview what the container should look like it's not exactly the same profile right it doesn't have the same the same type of groove it has like a, a different type of groove basically if you just picture what the container looks like now if i decide to use the same method of floor plan layout to extrude to form like this groove on the side for this front face here it's not exactly going to work basically because the floor plan of the groove if you think of it that way the floor plan of the groove is not exactly identical to extrude so you have to try and extrude it from this try and draw the side plan the side plan if that makes i think that makes sense so you draw the side plan of the groove extrude it and after you've extruded it and then you now just rotate it flip it and then place it fairly easy let's let's do that together so if i go to the ground floor now I want to draw like the side plan of the groove. So what I want to do is to same thing. I'm going to create a line, a reference line for the length of the floor plan that I'm about to draw. Now for this side, the length is actually the side and the side is the length. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just, just follow me basically. So we are basically drawing the heights of the container structure, which is 2,500, which is 2,500. We are going to now use the side to draw the plan. All right so we click on this just draw it drag it down and then click on this again and then just drag it down so we're going to draw like a the same thing like i said the layout the plan of the side so click on the side just make it um i already did the manual calculation of what this is actually so it's basically just think of it like three different profiles three different sections or segments if you want to understand it that way so i'm going to the first one is 700 the second one is 700 and then the other one is also 700 so we have like a distance of 500 in the middle to play with 250 on one groove 250 on one groove and then 250 on the second groove so i'm just going to play with this so i'll click on this let's drag a copy of this make this 250 no sorry 75 drag multiple copies 75 150 225 all right so this is what we're going to do i'm going to drag a copy of this so we're going to pick up guideline or guideline segment that's what i did that's not, it wasn't drag a copy so just create like a a groove for this i'm going to use 45 degrees because i feel it's, it's slightly bigger than the other grooves slightly bigger than the side panels so that's just what i need i'll delete this right click move and then i just drag a copy of this edge drag another copy it's not quite going to get to the edge anyway i'll just drag another copy of this and then i'll have it placed here just delete this excess delete this excess and then just cut it out Right, so let me just delete this. Using the shell tool again, I'm going to go to shell. 
this time I make sure I offset this to zero by the way and then I come to same thing I did holding the space bar key just click on that now the extrusion length is going to be the width of the of the container so let's just go ahead let's just cancel this first and see what the width is come to the measure tool that's 2150 all right let's go back and do what we're doing hold space bar click on it still shell tool activated 2150 so that's the extrusion length all right now let's see what the 3d looks like okay so this is what we have so we are, do, we are going to rotate this sheet and then just place it nice nicely in that in that box there so i'm going to click on the sheets right click right i'm going to go to rotate i'll just flip this i'm going to flip this on its face 90 degrees i think i didn't get that right let's go again rotate it degrees all right that's better so i'm going to just drag this and then just have it placed in that box there come to the reference story and make it zero and go to my ground floor click on this right click move and i just drag it to fit into that box yeah nicely nicely done all right so that's basically what it looks like just one more last tweak before we i'm going to right click on this and then i'll just drag it to the other edge drag a copy of this and i place it over here and just rotate this one so it's not inside out basically Just drag it and fit it inside that's fine all right so i'm just going to do one last tweak just place like a column in the middle just the midpoint of this if i drag this one and drag a copy of this this is just going to serve like the wedge in between the two profiles basically if one of this place is where you actually open the container from this this middle wedge here is where you actually open the container from and that's what we're trying to do let's drag it let's feel it at the edge here all right i think that's that's better that's much better we just, just increase the size of the container a little bit just make it um, 150 by its width yeah yeah basically that's better so yeah this is just a simple straightforward method of how you how you basically create a container with archicad if you enjoyed this video if it was useful to you you can drop a like a thumbs up and subscribe and then comment on more videos of what you want help with in modeling so until next time everyone just stay safe